At Tyne Gardens, male Swansea, there are 15 dog graves which date around the 1930s. The dogs were owned by Admiral Algernon Walker Henyage Vivian, who was very fond of dogs. He was an admirer of smooth-haired, black and tan Manchester Terriers. He also kept sable collies and mixed breed dogs. The dogs slept in baskets and armchairs, which were spread around the castle at night to guard it. It is said that one night, the dogs stationed by the Great Hall barked and barked, so the Admiral went down to investigate and found Mary, still with fright, hackles raised and staring into the ghostly-looking dark hall. Outside, the Admiral kept a fierce mongrel dog he called Snatcher, which was on a long sliding chain near a kennel. In three more kennels lived three sable collies. One was called Lassie, while the other two were her puppies. They were there to guard the castle, roaming around all day and night. They were said to have spent most of their days pressed against a side door in the chance of someone coming out with a biscuit or the promise of a walk. Inside the door was a chest of drawers full of dog biscuits of every sort and size. His daughter Rhoda wrote in her book, Water Under the Bridge, that when the dogs died, they were buried on a mound in the wooded glade above the cinder path leading round the top of the park field. Each one had a carved stone with its name on it. It was her job to keep the graves weed free. Today, visitors to Klein can visit the dogs' graves and see the names which are still visible on their headstones.